Got ourselves a leaky thermostat housing. It's uh, located on the driver's side of the engine. It's this whole setup right here. Where it's leaking at, I don't know. I, they were just told me they got a leaking thermostat housing. So we're gonna replace it. <clears throat> Smell coolant, but you know, it is what it is. So here's a new one. Uh, now, this right here is where the thermostat goes. So, you know, there there is that one. So if you, you know, this, this part right here was just leaking. There's just two bolts. You take that off and replace it. Uh, a T25. Something that I'm, I don't know, I don't know if they clean this. I don't know if they, I don't know if they try to spray something on here to clean it off. I'm not sure what that is though. Can't really tell because everything on top of the motor is wet. It's not coolant, obviously. So, I don't know, we'll figure that out. Ah, uh, just get some stuff out of the way. I'm just going to move this hose. It's just a, a vent tube. Anything that I can remove to make my life easier right now. Pull up that fuel line. I want to be very careful with that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this hose. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one too. Uh, next off, I gotta let this car cool down because really I think that's really all I need to get out of the way. I just need to remove this uh, upper radiator hose. Like I said, the car is still really hot. So we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, you yeah, know, we're gonna let this cool down a little bit. And yeah, I think I think we can we can tackle it after that. It's gonna be it's gonna be tight. But I'm pretty sure if we're gonna we can slide it in this way, in and out this way. So I'll get back to you when it's all said and done. Cooled off enough. I'm gonna try to film it as best I can. There's really no place to put a camera. So I'm just gonna start off by coming underneath here and removing this upper radiator hose from the thermostat house housing. Now when I pull this, I'm going to try to pull it straight up so we can keep as much cool as we can. Save the hose. Whatever's down there is going to drip out no matter what. Okay, I got that bungeed up and out of the way. And now I'm going to move on to that lower hose. There's four hoses total, so we're going to be working on number two. Oh, which... Okay, that's just plastic. Okay, so that can be moved. All right, awesome. I don't know where it leads to because it goes underneath the engine, underneath the intake, I should say, so I'm gonna avoid that. Maybe I can come around to this back part, which might work. Oh, I got it. There we go. Perfect. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right.
Now I'm gonna remove these two. Um, you're gonna be directly, my hands are gonna be directly in the waist, you're not gonna see, so you just put the hose clamp and move them back, and then I'll get back with you so we can get the rest done. This is for the engine coolant temp sensor. Uh, you know, when we get this off, we're gonna have to remove that sensor because it does not come with a new one. And I'm come straight here, we got one, two, and then the third 10 millimeter bolt is right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll get these off real fast. It's one, uh, two, three. No, one, two, three. Yep, there's the rest of it. Okay. Okay, so that's what it is. It's, it's on this right here, so you gotta, when you get this all out, you gotta pull this back as far as you can, because there's a metal bracket right here. So I'm gonna get the new one prepped and ready to go. Here's a second thermostat right here. So there's two. Weird. There we go. Well, that's missing. Okay. Good for it. Good for it. Now, as I said before, um, you know, it's got two thermostats. So let me see, this is gonna be positioned like this on the car. So this is gonna be up. There's a little hole. You always wanna put that in the up position, like so. So that's how this thing is gonna look. And I know we gotta swap over the sensor, but I'll do that once it's on, probably be easier. While I wait in that part, I can continue with everything else. So. Uh, we're just put it in the same way we took it out. And that sensor could be put on much later. Yeah. And actually now that I'm looking, the thermostat can go in one way, only one way, because that's that hole is facing up and there's a little notch for the rubber gasket, so that's kind of cool. Okay, just make sure everything else has its gasket. All right, let's do this. Gonna feed that in a couple threads. Get 
that's in there. And the third one. Time to put the hoses back. Oh my god. It goes there. It goes there. Only thing we're missing is that top sensor. But like I said, that can be done at any time. I'm not gonna tighten that up just because I am gonna pop off this radiator cap over here. And I'm gonna run a pressure test on it to make sure there's no leakage uh, once I get to that sensor. And then, boom, we'll be done with this job. Okay, we've got the Dura last. Let me shut that off. There we go. It's part number we're gonna use. It's a little bit of before and after action. Uh, there's the after. Looks pretty good. And then kind of lost the before. So, but anyways, the before was green and crusty. I lost it. So that's why we're wanna just replace this. Might as well do it now. Essentially, you just line up the tabs and then slide it in. There we go. Wait for the click and we're good. That's what it looks like. Yeah, there's a there's a little there's a little tab right here you gotta lift and then rotate it to the left. Let me say it's not it's not the easiest to put on either. You gotta you gotta really put it in there. All right, so like I said, we didn't do this. We don't we're not really worried about the vent hose right now. Well I'll clean all that up later, but first things first, let's run a pressure test. Can't pressure test just this easy. Just pump it. All right, that's good enough. It's not up there, but if there was a leak, we would know by now. So essentially, we just come check out where we worked at. And again, if you had coolant in here, it would move a lot faster, but right now what well, essentially, we're not looking for coolant at the moment. We are just looking for uh, this pressure to drop from seven, we'll go seven PSI. So I'm gonna give that like 
10, 15 minutes and then come back. And it held. All right, yeah, that's what's really nice about having one of these pressure testers. You've seen it in a lot of most, a lot of my other videos. If you watch any of my other videos, so yeah, if this is uh, this is all you really got to do. We're done. I just got to fill it up, and which I'm not going to bleed the air out right now because I'm going to have. I don't want to get the engine hot because I'm going to have to get underneath here and do the oil pan gasket. That's the next job. So in my next video, if you got one of these bad boys, I got plenty of them on my channel. If you have a Dodge Journey, then working on them, you might want to start doing it yourself because these things. Okay, they're they're not they're not very good vehicle. I'll just I'll just be nice. Um, so I got a lot of these customers because they keep breaking down. So anyways, we're going to be doing that in the next video. Bleed out the air. We're going to add that hose again. Hope, you video, hope this video helped you. Uh, like, subscribe. If you need some, look for some upgrading your headlights to some really high powered LEDs, head down into the description in the very bottom section. There is a link for the most powerful LEDs you're ever going to see in your life. And I've been running them for like three, four years something like that, and I'm still in the same bulbs. Uh, way better than a standard HID bulb or your Amazon LED. And use my discount code or referral code for a discount. And uh, yeah, check it out. See you guys next time.